The Nintendo Switch Lite was revealed yesterday, and a lot of people are having mixed feelings on it. Yes, the device is strictly made for portable use. It has a slightly longer battery life, and is $100 cheaper. But in my opinion, the Nintendo Switch Lite removes so many important features that I honestly believe it's almost pointless to buy one. But before the internet completely tears me apart over my opinion, let me first list off all the things I like about the Nintendo Switch Lite. A proper D-pad. I can't tell you how happy I was to see this thing. The Switch has been crying out for a proper D-pad since release, but unless you own an expensive Pro controller, you're shit out of luck. I can't even describe to you how frustrating it is having to play every fighting game or 2D indie game without the use of a D-pad, so this feature is a big win in my opinion. A slightly longer battery life. This is a nice feature, but I don't feel like the battery was ever a big issue with the original Nintendo Switch. Sure, the battery might only last 4 or 5 hours, but the whole point of the Switch is that you could then dock it and continue using it on your TV while you waited for it to charge. The Switch Lite doesn't allow TV play, so I feel if anything, the battery had to last at least an extra hour to justify missing such an important feature. It's $100 cheaper. This is the main reason to get the Switch Lite. If you're really strapped for cash, this is a cheaper alternative to the main console. I feel parents would benefit most from this. A lot more moms and dads would be willing to buy their kids a Nintendo Switch at this price point. Also, the console is smaller and lighter, which will probably suit a child's tinier hands too. But that's really about it. The Nintendo Switch Lite isn't a terrible idea, but in my opinion, you're getting a far inferior product to the current Switch model. So let's start listing off some of those cons. No TV play. This is obviously the big one. The whole idea behind the Switch is that you can play it anywhere. On the couch, at the park, or on your television. That functionality has been all but removed at this point. And I know some people don't care about playing the Switch on their TVs, but there's more to it than that. Various games have performance increases when played on a TV. I can't stand playing Bayonetta 2 in handheld mode because it runs so poorly, but it's a lot more stable when played on the TV. And also, there are games like Crash Team Racing that actually remove features like 4 player split screen when played in handheld mode. So in some cases, you're even going to be missing out on the full experience. Speaking of multiplayer... Joy-Cons aren't detachable. In a way, this move kinda makes sense. The Switch Lite is a dedicated handheld, so it makes sense for it not to have removable parts. But this decision removes so much functionality from the Switch, it's crazy. A lot of people complain about how expensive the Joy-Cons are, but they often forget that you are essentially getting two controllers when you buy a set of them. You can play practically any indie title and many AAA titles with a single Joy-Con and they still play wonderfully. But more importantly, a single set of Joy-Cons are usually enough to play any of the several hundred multiplayer games on the Switch. When you buy a PS4 or an Xbox, you basically have to fork over an extra $60 for another controller if you want to play local multiplayer. But that feature is available right out of the box with the Nintendo Switch. And it's incredibly disappointing this feature has been removed from the Switch Lite. Streaming or recording gameplay will not be possible. Not a major feature for a lot of people admittedly, but anyone who enjoys streaming their gameplay on Twitch or simply wants to capture footage of a Switch game for a YouTube video will now struggle to do so. Controllers included with the flagship Nintendo Switch system. And HD rumble and IR sensor removed. This one was very disappointing to me. I usually don't give a shit about motion controls, 
But the reality is that many Switch games benefit from the motion technology built into the Joy-Cons, and it was a very weird decision to remove it. HD Rumble has really grown on me, to the point where I can't imagine playing many of my Switch games without it. My friend Pedro, Hollow Knight, and especially Pinball FX3 really benefit from this feature, and again, I'm very disappointed by its exclusion here. If the Nintendo Switch is infamous for overheating, how will an even smaller version of that possibly be any better? In the early days of the Switch, a lot of people were complaining about their consoles getting very hot, to the point where the plastic began to bend, and in some cases, the Switch would stop functioning altogether. If this new Switch is more compact, then I'm guessing the fan will be smaller too, and there also seems to be smaller vents on the thing. Maybe I'm just being a pessimist, but I'd be very surprised if the Switch Lite didn't suffer from even worse overheating issues than the original. No tabletop mode. Really Nintendo? Really? You couldn't even include the cheap plastic stand the original Switch comes with? You won't be able to replace the Joy-Cons if they get damaged. Okay, that's not exactly true. You can buy Joy-Cons and sync them up with your Switch Lite, but you won't be able to attach them to your Switch like normal. Also, since you can't dock the Switch Lite or use it in tabletop mode, what's the point of buying other Joy-Cons for the thing anyways? So there's a short list of complaints I have about the Switch Lite. Look, if you're excited about this thing, then more power to you. I'm not saying the Switch Lite is a complete disaster, but I would honestly recommend anyone considering getting one to just save up the extra $100 to get the main console instead, because you are getting so much more for your money, it's not even funny. Anyways, regardless of how you feel about this thing, I'd like to thank you for watching, and please consider liking and subscribing to my channel if you'd like more content like this.